sir. Good morning. Uh, this must be an exciting day for you. You are debuting on the small screen. First, tell us from the inception stage, Big Boss Tamar. I'm trying to bring, uh, within the parameters of the show, my own personality to it. Uh, that way, it'll be an honest representation of myself and uh, the show as I host it. What did it take to convince yourself to take warm up to this medium, sir? No, no, I knew that the medium, uh, it's not new to begin with. Hosting is a new job. Right. It is like saying that uh, uh, you're doing a villain role. How is it different? For me, it's a role. So sure. I've been playing a, a particular kind of character. And now when I play a villain, it's a different kind of emotion. But I think the, the modus operandi of uh, this particular job is slightly different. But otherwise, it's the same as any television interview for me. Or for that matter, even this. Right. Sir, how familiar are you with the original in Hindi and how are you looking forward to reprising what I, I just I, I just saw it to understand. I saw Amarji's, I, I saw right. Salman Sahib's right. uh, thing. I like both. I like Salman's better because there was a certain amount of approach, honesty to it, honest approach to it. So, I'm, and I'm trying to do something uh, similar but different. Right, right, right. right. So when Star Vijay approached you for this, you said, who better than me you could. So can you elaborate on that, sir? Why would you say... No, no, that's, that, 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 that's because the idea is about being inside a glass cage. Right. Some people are forced to be there. Like you say, I'm going to live with 400 snakes in a, in a glass cage and that's my show. Some people choose to be there. I'm one of those who have chosen to keep my life just because I, I I don't want to be a hypocrite and I don't want to remember my life. For me, um, I could afford to be honest, so I'm trying to be that. So it, it, I, I've left my uh, life open right, right. for people to see. I, I, I keep it private to the extent I want it. But otherwise, I don't, because I can't remember my life. I always say that honesty may not be the best policy. But it's a great luxury. Very few people can afford it. Sir, reality TV has had its share of criticism and all that. How, you, how would you counter that criticism, sir? Why, why should I counter criticism? Somebody says I'm a bad actor, I don't counter it. I try to do better or just forget about it. And I, I, I don't think reality TV is bad, so is the Coliseum, so are the gladiators, so are sports. I think cricket is bad, but that's a point of view. Right. Okay. So, in the last couple of years, we noticed that you looked beyond films, you did an ad for a textile group, uh, which was the first for you. You joined Twitter and you are very, very active in this and you are looking forward to your tweets. And now it's a TV show. Are we seeing Kamal Hassan 2.0, sir, in a way? Maybe. I like to, uh, <laughs> I, I like to keep updating myself because that's the only way to make life interesting, at least for yourself. I'm also a performer, so <laughs> I'll have to do it even more deliberately and with purpose to it. Right, right. But audiences are still looking forward to you on the big screen, sir. We saw your poster released recently of Shurupum 2. Was that a statement, Kamal, sir? Yes, the film itself, all my films are statements. I try, especially when I write it. Yes. Not, not all the time. So it's certain, I, I've done some movies which are just uh, pastime for both me and the audience. <laughs> so. <laughs> And it's a, it made me money, so no complaints about it. But most of the films that I try to write, be it Anbe Sivam, Mahanadi, Eram, or even um, uh, Vishwaru, mm. there is a, a, a point of view, sure. my point of view. Sure. And they ask me, uh, are you trying to become political? I have to refute the fact and re-confirm uh, I have always been political. Right. I'm not into electoral politics. That's what it is. But like you, I'm always political. The moment I make a comment on a leader, and I'm, the moment I want to vote to change the regime, I am political. It's interesting you mentioned that, Kamal, sir, because during the Jalika to protest and during the political instability in the state, you were quite active on social media and voicing your views. As actors, do you think you have additional responsibility than, say, me, to communicate what you think I, to the I, public? As a carpenter, I have additional responsibilities. 
if the carpenter has not had not thought that way, we wouldn't have had to crucify that man on a cross. <laughs> you know, you go beyond carpentry and try to uh, chisel something else, right. probably your mind. And I think uh, it's important. Everybody has a social duty. You can do it in your from your little cubicle, whatever size you want to. I am not an electoral politician. I am uh, a demo in the democracy. I'm part of the. So you've always gone through a lot with respect to any move you make. We know the Vishwarupam controversy. We know the delay with respect to part two. Even with Sabash, you had to replace the director midway. And you had a personal setback in this time. Then, when such adversity hits Kamal Hassan, how does he react? What does he tell himself, sir? Ah, well, uh, I don't first, I don't talk to myself. I just think. So I don't tell myself. I just think. And uh, if somebody tells me something, I try to discern what they are trying to say and right. why they are trying to say it. And try to understand the point of views, mm -hmm. including my mistakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best way to analyze your mistake is when you get into an accident like I got in. Because it's your fault and it's nobody's fault. So it, these are things that happen. Uh, and uh, if you don't take yourself extra seriously, but you take life seriously, right. then these things won't. Where do you derive strength to look ahead, sir, in such times of adversity? Definitely not from religion. Right. That they keep asking me right. these things. Right. I don't. I th thank my parents who let me think that way. I, I chose what I liked and became what I am. And that's very rare. At 11, when I refused to wear uh, the genuine or the portal, my father said, let him be. Don't. He is thinking for himself, let him think. And they never forced me nice. to do that. Some of my friends who were well-wishers tried to force me. Force convince you. Yeah. They're, and they kept telling me, yeah, now you're 16, you're talking, uh, you're blaspheming, but <laughs> let, you become 21, you start signing checks, then you'll know. <laughs> I signed checks and then they said, you're still arrogant, it'll all go down when you get married. I, get, I got married twice, so <laughs> nothing happened. Happen. And they said, okay, you, 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 you get children, then you will you'll become. Them. But that doesn't mean that I have lost my humility towards my cohabitants. I, I respect them, but I, I can't live on myths. I need, uh, I'm not that I'm a great scientist and I believe in science because I know it, but somehow science conv convinces me right. more easily. Right. It doesn't trouble me, it doesn't traumatize me. So I, I believe that uh, science and uh, ethics and uh, philosophy right. is more, I mean, I mean I'm prone to, to, uh, to lean towards that side rather than myth, religion, and uh, rituals. So, just drawing to that Rajnikan statement in which he commented, quite worriedly, if I may say so, that Kamal is not as financially well off as compared to other actors. Your comment? That, that's my choice. My, uh, they need not be worried that I'm godless. Poor man, he's godless. It's by choice. I'm godless by choice. I don't want to go the direction. I want to pay my taxes. The reason why I can't amass that much wealth is because I'm trying to set an example so. to myself and to my countrymen. Pay, not paying taxes, it is India, it's my company, I'm, I'm, I'm the boss, so I should pay the tax. If I don't, I cannot complain about the pothole. What gives me the uh, right. audacity to come out in Jalika to talk about the most powerful man, woman and politicians in that manner. Because somewhere I believe that I don't think I'm holier than them, but I'm better than them. <laughs> so that gives me that courage. And there's nothing wrong. What would you do with black money? Tell me. Or what could it be used for except for black deeds? You can first that's, you, you are promoting terrorism. And that is why I say that people should be convinced not to buy the DVD because it's an anti-national act. 
is not something that you do against me as an actor. And there's uh, somebody saying, I will do it because it's my right to break this industry. So why don't you do it to cricket? <laughs> why why, why pick, not pick, some, pick something your size? Right. <laughs> You're small. Right. Sir, so on the subject of business, we're talking money and all that. We know that Bahubali has raked in 1,000 crores. Did you get a chance to watch the film? Yes, I did. Yeah. I did. So I what spoke. could we know about your thoughts about the film, sir? Yes, it's, it's a good step forward. Financially speaking, uh, it's, it's, it's the best thing that could happen to the industry and uh, they worked hard. Right. Uh, but when they say that we can meet Hollywood, I'd say hold your horses because those horses are CG horses. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to add to your horsepower as such. So what we have to think about is, yes, we have made that. Step forward. step forward. Yes, we have a great culture. We don't have to look at anybody else for stories. We have the best of stories. but And we have 2,000 years of culture. There I'd like to intervene and make a correction. We are not 2,000 years old. We are 70 years old. And that humility we should have. Don't hark on Chandragupta Maurya or Ashoka. Right. They are not my forefathers. They're so far back in the dim past that we can't emulate, we can't translate or even uh, interpret it into modern life. <laughs> We're trying to. That's the confusion of India, grappling with it and slipping and slithering. And I think that applies to every field. Look at cricket. Not, it's not my favorite game, I don't watch it. But what happened to cricket is they just left behind those hundred years and jumped forward. Many cricket fans felt that it's the end of that sport. But it, uh, probably the sport ended, I don't know. But the business has begun. So the serious business of making that sport into uh, a business has, has taken root mm -hmm. and it's only going to grow. Mm -hmm. Similarly, this confusion is there with us also. We have to take that step forward. Question. Both the superstars of Tamil cinema, Rajnikanth and yourself, are doing part twos. He's doing 2.0 and you're doing Vishuru Pumto right now. If there's a film you would like to revisit and do a part two from your previous work, what would it be and why? No, no. Uh, let me tell you. I wanted to do Panchatantra part two while the film was being made because I liked the... But nobody thought... Because they, they, they're all thinking of it like a horse race. They're waiting for the final head to stick out. Uh, to be I don't, I feel the ride. I jockey the film, so I, I feel the ride and I feel it's a good film. I mean, what is good about Bahubali is that they not only made the film, but they believed in it. That belief is very important. Mm -hmm. The people who made the Panjatantra or Anbeshuram, at that moment did not believe in it like they believed in Bahubali. Yeah. It could have been pushed. It could have been pushed. It could have been a Bahubali. Not it's Bahubali. A, no, it won't yeah. be. Right. Right. There are certain films which will be that only. Right, right. You don't expect uh, Gandhiji to uh, win the Olympics for you. He'll win the freedom for you. So you, right. you shouldn't mistake one for the other. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot.